Hello and welcome to The Telescope. Every week we bring you a fresh insight from the biggest car market in the world. Today we're on a dynamic media test drive of the Baojun Cloud. Now I've already done a static review video of this car. So to quickly recap, this is an oversized ID3 with more space, more comfort, the second row seat back can recline to a ridiculous angle and a massive boot. This car has 600 liter plus boot space if you remove the floor with the second row seat upright in position. We are here today to try out the dynamic, the performance, the range and this very sweet DJI assisted driving kit. Now we're on the move with the Belgian Cloud. This car has a 100 kilowatts motor mounted at the front. That's 25 kilowatts less than the ID3, but about 30 kilowatts more than the class champion, the BYD Dolphin. Power feels adequate. This car feels like a nine seconds car to 100 kilometers acceleration. It's raining very heavily today. We can't extract accurate performance data out of it, but on the city ring road, and we even tried a bit of highway driving, this car can keep up with the traffic and and if you want to, you can overtake. You don't need to pre-plan your acceleration as much as you need to on the BYD Dolphin, which is nearly an 11 seconds car to 100 kilometers acceleration. But it's by no means a fast car. Nine seconds for a family car is okay. You just can't do, let's say, enthusiastic driving in it. The chassis, surprisingly, is not uncompromisingly soft. I thought it might be. You know, this is a very family-orientated car. Let's you know what's happening underneath the car. Steering is a similar story. If the BYD Dolphin, the steering feels subjectively is 60 out of 100, and the ID3 is 85 out of 100, then I will say this is 75. It doesn't try to behave like it's a bigger, more mature car because this car is a bigger and heavier car than the Dolphin. It's effective enough, but this steering wheel is relatively big, and this two-spoke design very much reminds you that this is a family car. Now, one thing family cars should be very good at is the MVH. That's noise, vibration, and harshness. It's a little bit worse than I expected, especially the motor noise. It's not all bad news. The motor noise is only noticeable at low speed and hard acceleration, like now. It feels like a really good synthetic simulation sound being pumped through the speakers, you know, it's that loud. So if you are coming from the combustion engine car and you don't mind your car have a bit of noise, this is by no means annoying, but it is louder than most battery electric vehicles I've driven. Wind noise and tire noise at high speed is very well controlled. Today we're on a 35 kilometers run, weather is 28, 29 degrees with heavy rain. It's currently doing 13.01 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometer. That is roughly 370, 380 kilometers realistic range. That is a little bit better than the Dolphin and the ID3 under the current weather. If it gets colder, then this car will be more or less on par or maybe even slightly worse than those two because the Dolphin has heat pump as standard and the ID3, we can select that as an option. But this car does not provide the heat pump even as an option. So, so depends on where you are. If you live south of Shanghai, Spain, Portugal, Florida, California, wherever winter is relatively friendly, this car has better range performance than those two. But if your winter regularly dips under zero degrees Celsius, you should select a car with heat pump. Now, up until this point, looks like the Belgian Cloud is trading blows with the Dolphin and the ID3. However, there is one area where this car absolutely trumps those two by a long way. And that is the assisted driving, because we are here today in a top of the spec version with DJI's assisted driving kit. I'm currently demonstrating one of this car's very insane party trick, the memory parking. Okay, I'll get to this in a minute. First of all, let me explain the whole system. This car has all round camera vision for assisted driving at $19,000. Okay, this car, even if you strip away everything and treat it as a normal family car, is already a very amazing deal at $19,000. It has huge space, enough power, but Baojing manages to squeeze in this amazing DJI assisted driving kit. I'm imagining their budget must be like this big, you know. It's doing all of this on very modest hardware. It has to be, otherwise the car simply doesn't have the budget. Now, how they're doing it, 
DJI manages to achieve all-round camera vision using the cameras that's originally intended for the 360 surround view cameras. On more expensive cars like the Neo, Xpeng and Li Auto, 360 surround view cameras are just for 360 surround view. The assisted driving system has a separate array of cameras. Now on this, it has to deal with that 360 surround view cameras. The challenge is once you go beyond, let's say four or five meters, those ultra wide cameras, distortion is quite horrendous, but somehow DJI manages to deal with all of that. Okay, now the car has parked. Since the beginning of this assisted driving part, we entered a multi-story car park in an IKEA store in Shanghai. We are now on the third floor. The car climbed all the way up, manages to avoid all the cars, put on indication light and parked itself. I will say this distance in total is definitely more than 150 meters. And it's all doing this because I've done this for the system. Basically, I've teached the system, this is the spot I want to park in, and it memorized the whole route. This is so much more impressive than BMW's memory parking function, and this car costs only $19,000. This is China's idea for a family car. The ID3 is a very European-centric product. The Dolphin is, well, this car is bigger, has more power, more feature, more comfortable, more space, and not that much more in price. So this is on a higher class of product. I have to mention the DJI assisted driving kit. No, it does not hold a candle to the Huawei and x system in the really busy urban conditions. It cannot make those really assertive lane changes that you are kind of squeezing other cars, nor should it be. This car at $19,000 has unprecedented assisted driving capabilities. The next cheapest car to have this kind of ability is the x G6, and that's $15,000 more expensive. This car at $19,000 has a real chance of popularizing assisted driving kit for the vast majority of the people. Of course, you can choose not to have it. Then at $17,000, it's still a pretty sweet family car as well. That is all from the telescope today. If you enjoyed this video, keep watching, keep subscribing. More videos coming along very soon.